immunity. But if that defendant presents a danger, that charges. <clears throat> yes, is a problem. Um, with habitual counts specifically, that's a problem. I know the non-attorneys may not know what that even means. So that's essentially what in TV and movies people call three strikes laws and things like that. Essentially, it's removing discretion from judges to make sentencing decisions. And uh, as uh, Sarah said in her question, it is often bullying pleas when that's not necessary. I think that is a problem. But I'm going to talk about another overcharging issue that I think is actually a bigger deal. And that's what is often called in legal circles, and the folks in this room know the term, Walmart burglars. And that is my opponent and his administration have promoted for years in this jurisdiction when someone is stealing something at a, a misdemeanor or petty offense level, it means a very small dollar amount from a Walmart or a Target or some other business, and has been previously trespassed, they charge that as a class four felony burglary. That is overcharging as it could no more clearly be written. That is overcharging, enforcing pleas, and felonizing misdemeanor behavior, tagging folks with felonies for the rest of their lives and make it hard for them to get jobs, pay the rent, contribute to this community. Those are our friends and our family members and the, the, the folks in this community that are struggling most committing those crimes, not the violent or serious offenders. So yes, there is overcharging. That is a prime example. That will stop the day that I'm elected. 